Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Hi, how she's a princess, and how my brother, you a prince? Come forward, step forward, come deal with your brothers. All right, come deal with your brothers, man. Hey, listen, I want you to bring me John 16 in chapter, uh, chapter 16. John 14, verse 20. Step forward a little bit. You too, I want you to come over here and focus your attention on this sign. Come over here. This sign right here. Who do, hey, sis, real quick. This sign right here. I'm over here. Do you believe that, and you, do you believe that the man that we see in this picture, we have that in our brains as the person that we worship? Him and his doctrine, his philosophy, his ways of living, that's in our brain. We up. worship this image here in this earth. Do you, uh, are you aware of the, the no snitching campaign? You said there's no snitching. Yeah, are you aware of the no snitching campaign? No. You heard snitches get snitches? Yeah. <laughs> that's a no snitching campaign. Right, that's a philosophy, a way of thought, a way of thinking. If some dirt go down around me that I know about, I ain't telling. Right, right, no snitching. Where that come from? Where that come from? The streets. Who taught the streets that? That's philosophy. That's doctrine that we've been taught by this person right here to make us think whatever we can come up with or think about is okay for us to do. For instance, I'm going to get on my sister for a moment, then I'm going to come back to you. But it's not to tear you down, sister. It's to bring light to your understanding to make you think better. Because if you know better, you will do what? All right, give me uh, John 14, if, uh, what it says? 20? 20, what it say? He that loveth me, he keepeth my saying. 24. <clears throat> hey, listen at this for a second. And I want to touch on what you just said, because I heard a little bit, but I want to make sure I heard what I said. I heard. Read. John 14, verse 24. Bring it out. He that loveth me. You love God? You love God? How does God look? You can't love nobody if you don't know nothing about him. How does God look? He said black. How about you, sis? There's been a confusion about how he looked to you, right? Before you came up today, how did you think God looked? Like this. All right, so read it again. He that loveth me not. Keep it. Read it again. He that loveth me not. Read it from the top. Verse 24. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings. Verse 21. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. You hear that? If you had a commandments, that proves that you love the Lord. What? One of the commandments is for us, if you read Revelations 18, one of the commandments is that we leave these philosophies and doctrines alone. We have to come back to the Lord as he prescribed. Yes, Lord. The Lord said if you know of a crime, tell it. It's not snitches get stitches. The Lord said, don't fear the man that can kill the body, but fear him that can kill your body and your soul. That's who you're supposed to be fearing. You're supposed to be fearing the Lord. These right. bodies ain't nothing. Right. These was given to us. See? Right. But what about the spirit that was put inside of you? You don't have no control over that thing. So if I was you, I would take heed to what he said do. He said tell. You know, that's one of the major issues that's going on in our community. Right. Because folks not telling about the murders or the drug dealers or the prostitution that's going on, it keeps happening. Because everybody says it's okay. And then those outside our community come and they milk us 
and they don't even give us compensation for our resources. One of the major resources that we have is our talent, skill, and ability. We have to sign contracts and receive pennies to maximize off of our education, off of our talent. Why? Because we don't have no morals, no ethics, no values. We don't stand for nothing. We fall for everything. I know y'all heard that before. You don't stand for nothing. You fall for anything. We have fallen for everything. We fell for the American dream. Read Revelation 18 and 4. Verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. You hear that? The Lord said, come out of her, my people. Come out of her philosophies, my people. Read. That ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Give me Proverbs 3 and 31. So the Lord is warning you, first and foremost, come out of the philosophies and the doctrines of the land that you've been held captive, so that you don't receive of her plagues. You got a question? It's not more like a question, it's more like a statement. Go ahead. So, I feel like it's really hard to, uh, you can do so much to like, try to point someone in like the right path. Right. right. But like, as God gave everyone free will, it, it takes their will. Right, right. Right. All you can do is just get them advice. That's it. You know, I'm not strong arming nobody to the word of God. He didn't even strong arm me to the word of God. He suggested heavily in Deuteronomy that you follow him or else it's gonna be what we see around us. But at the end of the day, it's your choice because he don't want no zombies and puppets and robots following him. That's right. right. He want people with their free will going through an experience what they've experienced to say, you know what? Ain't nothing else out here. Lord, what you want from me? What do you require? I'm gonna get back to you, but I wanna get back to my point because I was talking to my sister, showing her how she must come out of this philosophy right here. Right. Same thing is gonna apply to you too, sister. Do you feel you're beautiful? Yes, sir. You feel you're beautiful? Yeah. All right, we gonna prove it. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter three, verse 31. Bring it out. Envy thou not the oppressor. What does it mean to envy? Hatred or malice. Envy. To be, to be jealous. The Lord said, Envy thou not the oppressor. Who is our oppressor? I'm going to give you a clue. Uh, why supremacists? Perfect. You see what they did? You see what that oppressor did to us, sister? What they did. What they did and what its effects have on us today? Right. What they did and their effects are still permeating today? That's right. Our oppressor. Who did that to us? You said it already. I want to know if sister know. Who did that to us? Man, she, I don't want to, Our oppressor did this to us. Yeah, absolutely. The Lord said, the Lord said, hold on one second. The Lord said, envy thou not or do not be jealous of the oppressor or the so-called white man. Read. And choose none of his ways. One of his ways, my sister is wearing pants. Another one of his ways that the Lord said choose not is coloring your hair. Right, right, right. Coloring your hair his color. Your hair don't grow naturally that color, do it, sir? That's right. No, it don't. The Lord said he gave you his beauty. Right, that's right. But you trusted in your own beauty or you hated your own beauty and you said I'm gonna make what I got and I'm gonna put it on par with what's around because you got your natural, you rocking your natural, you're doing two things at once. You're doing what's natural to you, and you also choosing his way. The Lord said don't do that. Come out of that philosophy. Whatever it is telling you that it's cool for you as a dark-skinned sister to blind your hair, you gotta kick that to the side. Because that is not of God. That's right. That's of this world. Keep reading. For the forward is an abomination to the Lord. Those who do what they want to do, the Lord said that's an abomination to him. Choosing the ways of the Lord, honoring rap. You like rap music? You make rap music yourself? Yeah. What are, what's some of the content of that rap music you make? You heard that? Listen. You heard that? What's the content of your music that you make? Is it uplifting? Or is it impression by what you see and hear already? Bring it out. Some of us, we make rap music. But the content of it has to change. Like, nothing wrong with the music genre itself. The content in it was guided and directed back in the 90s to 
help you have a destroyed mind state. Right. You understand that? We, we've been made a dollar sign. We've been made a check. Yeah. Teach. You know, also with music, I feel like it, everything is do like with your environment. You know? Yeah. So, a different environment. Yeah, yes and no. Like, but you can change the music or you can change the environment through the music because music is influential. Right? Yeah. Remember back in the day when Motown ran it, they made music to make you do what? Want to dance? Right. Love. Stay together. Love. Family. Creeping with the sister on the other side of town. But that ain't, that's not of God. You know what I mean? That's not of God, but that's what the music made you want to do. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time. Oh!